What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple walk animation. Uh, this is going to be my fourth and final tutorial, uh, for now at least. Um, let's go over some of the stuff I've shown you in my uh, previous tutorials. Uh, my first tutorial I showed you guys how to make a sword using extrude and scale. Um, second tutorial I showed you about uh, texturing floors and walls using normal maps and uh, just normal pictures. And then in my third tutorial I showed you how to uh, rig, a, rig and skin a character um, so you can change the position he's in. Um, but now I'm going to show you how to make a character actually walk so you can combine everything I've shown you to make a pretty decent looking animation. Um, so let's begin. <clears throat> You're going to want to open up your blender um, and uh, hopefully you've saved a file that has a character uh, rigged and skinned. Um, if you haven't, you'll want to go back to my previous tutorial. I'm going to switch over to a single view here. Alright. So, uh, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, if you can't see uh, your armature through your character model. Um, let's go ahead and do that now just to make it a little bit easier while you're animating your character. Um, you can go over to Object Data and uh, click where it says X-Ray <coughs> and that'll uh, display the armature through the character model. Uh, you can also choose to uh, display the names or not display them. Um, I'm gonna leave them off for now. Um, Two things you're going to want to make sure of before you start. Um, first of all, um, let's, go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and go to pose mode. Um, and you do that by selecting your, uh, your armature first and press control tab. And it'll switch to pose mode. Alright, um, first thing. Uh, when we're moving our character so that he can look like he's walking, we don't want this to happen or uh, this right here. So to fix that we're gonna make each one of these parent bones um, have a fixed position. So select each parent bone and go over to the bone button over here on the right panel and go down to transform locks and for lock location go ahead and lock everything there and go ahead and do that for all the parent bones. Alright, second thing we want to make sure of, um, for the names of all your bones, you're going to want to make sure um, you've labeled them with a .r or a .l extension for the right side of the body and the left side of the body. So for instance, uh, mine over here, I've got upper arm .l, on the other side I've got upper arm .right, um, foot .l, foot .r. Uh, hand.l, hand.r. Um, it's very important that you do that so uh, when you're flipping positions while you're trying to make your character walk it'll uh, do it a lot easier so uh, so that's pretty important. Um, but yeah so once you've made sure of those two things let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and begin. So let's switch to the right view and make sure you're on frame number one down here and go ahead and select the upper left leg and we're going to uh, raise this up just a little bit <clears throat> and the lower leg you can pull it down a little bit and if you want you can play with the foot here then you're going to grab the upper left arm pull that back just a little bit and the upper right arm and bring that up alright and then um, this position right here uh, pretty much represents our character in the middle of his stride while uh, moving his left leg forward and above the ground uh, so we want to save this first position uh, press A to select everything and press I to insert a keyframe 
and select location rotation. Alright. Let's move up uh, about 10 frames. You can either press the up arrow key or you can type in 11 down here. And um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, lift his left leg a little bit higher. And uh, his lower left leg up. And then you can move his foot downward if you want. And then grab his right upper leg, and we're going to pull this guy back. Move that like that. Move the foot a little bit if you want. And grab the upper left arm. Pull it back a little bit if you want. You can move the lower arm a little bit. And uh, do the same with the right arm, except move it forward. All right. And again, press A to select everything, I to insert a keyframe, and this one we're just going to do rotation because that's all we did. Alright, and this is our character walking in place, by the way. So um, we now need a third pose at frame 21 with the right leg up because uh, the character is going to be in the middle of the other half of the stride. So uh, this pose will actually be the mirror of the one we made in uh, frame one. So let's go back to frame one. Uh, with your armature fully selected, um, you can either press Control C or you can go down to the pose menu and select copy pose. Alright, that copies this pose right here. We're gonna go to frame 21 and you can either press Control Shift V as in Victor or you can go down to Pose, Paste, X Flipped Pose. Alright. Uh, that, what that'll do is it'll paste the cut pose, exchanging the positions of bones with the suffix dot L with those of bones with the suffix dot R, uh, effectively flipping it. So uh, that's why it's important to uh, use dot R and dot L extensions. Alright guys? So we've got that. Immediately after you paste it in, before you do anything else, um, press I for insert and do rotation. And that'll save that position there. So if you switch to the front view, if you go back from frame 1 to frame 21, you'll see that uh, everything flipped out, flipped uh, perfectly. All right. Now we got to do the same procedure for frame 31 using frame 11. So. Let's switch over to frame 11 here. Control C to copy it. We'll go to frame 31 and Control Shift V to paste that in. Insert a keyframe right away and select rotation. Alright, and you've got that flipped over right there. Okay. Finally, to complete the cycle, we need to copy the pose from frame 1 uh, without flipping it to frame 41. So to do this, uh, of course, go back to frame 1, make sure everything's selected here. Um, Control C to copy. And then in frame 41, you're going to do uh, Control V to paste it, or you can go to pose menu down here and do paste pose okay and we've got there we've got that there uh, insert the keyframe for the rotation um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and change uh, the end frame down here to 41 before we display what we've done and then um, up here on the right where it shows everything you have in your scenery go to uh, Go ahead and press the eyeball where your armature is at. That'll make that invisible. And now you can actually uh, test your animation, see if it worked out. So start at frame one. And uh, once you're in frame one, go ahead and press Alt A. And there you have it, folks. It's as simple as that. Um, you know, you make a couple of positions, flip their, uh, flip the positions, and uh, you've got a really uh, simple walk. 
Um, so the single step in place is the core of a walk. Um, once you've defined that, there are techniques to make a character walk along a complex path. Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, the single step in place is enough. Um, but uh, yeah, once once you start learning those techniques, it, they're pretty simple. I mean, it's mostly going into the object mode and uh, moving your character in one position, saving the location, and then doing the same thing over again. Um, once you start playing around with that a little bit, uh, you'll be able to do stuff uh, like this. Just a very simple one that I made here. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to comment below. I'll reply as fast as I can. And uh, that's it. Thanks, guys.